hello you welcome to my youtube channel so in today's video i'm going to be sharing with you guys illustrations or explanations on how i'm going to make some of these corporate gowns if i were to make them for the first time so don't go anywhere keep on watching So this is just your normal round neck straight cut fitted gown with yoke. So we're using the striped fabric for the yoke and the sleeve. So you're just going to cut your normal basic sleeve and then you're going to cut a straight fabric and place it on the hem of the sleeve. And that is all for this. It's very simple. You can actually put the zip if you want. And this is a um, bodycon deep round neck fitted gown. And remember there is no dart and then for the sleeve it's just a combination of a normal basic sleeve and a balloon sleeve you can actually fix a zip invisible zip if you can this is also a body fitted um no dart and then the neck is um a standing collar kind of a bishop collar and then just attach what you use for the neck to this the basic state that's all and here we have a normal fitted gown body cone and this one is a princess that it has a princess that all the way down to the hem of the dress um round neck and then the sleeve is a balloon sleeve as well and then here we have a very simple gown it has a half cut and then the basic skirt attached to it um it's not a bodycon per se and then the sleeve you're just going to multiply your round sleeve measurement by two and cut then gather it around the shoulder so here we have a bodycon fitted gown um with a combination of organza and net um so you can actually use the organza around the V shape around the neckline or using net. So here we have an overlapped gown. Um, for the front, you're going to overlap it and then you're using your puka dot for the combination. So you're just going to sew it exactly the way you see it for the upper part and the lower part. Um, this is also a bodycon straight cut and then the net i think this for the sleeve i think it's in net and then the color you can see it's a um, um bishop color and then there's a sweet heart yoke so here we have a bodycon and uh, a boat neckline fitted gown as usual um the sleeve is a balloon sleeve or more see he bowl gosh god the crito <laughs> so here the same thing fitted body con you can see it has um a bishop collar too high neck and bishop collar at the total neck and then there's a belt and the balloon sleeve and here um, you can see there is a cut and replace like combination of nude and orange and burnt orange so um there is also a band is this a band or a belt and then the sleeve is the basic sleeve and a fleece sleeve here um i think we've said something about these overlapped um basic skirt and then it has a half cut and the play sleeve i think uh, it's the same thing here so for this one it's also overlapped on the downside and then there is a little style at the neckline um a round neck with a little bit of design and then on the sleeve you have your basic sleeve it's a two-in-one sleeve actually the basic sleeve fitted sleeve and then these organs are attached to the top of the basic sleeve which is bigger than the sleeve and so this one is a um a line this is an a line gown and then 
the sleeve is a basic sleeve and then you have these um, three colors around the front line which is a design you just cut and place on top just like a patch it's very easy and then here you have um you're just going to cut your normal um, basic gown um i think this one is cut together there is no half colors and it's not a bodycon the sleeve is a basic sleeve and then for the red design you're just going to cut open your um, main gown and then attach the red under it and then this is um um should i call this a line or circle and it's a how it has a half cut and then the neckline is a normal round neck for the down part you're just going to attach um the patterned fabric to it and then use a velvet bias to make that yellow design there and then this is um actually a line as well and then the downside has this two-step peplum attached to it and then it's a basic sleeve you can just um cut a fabric place in the middle and put your bias by the two sides or cut a black and then put the fabric on top and then um this is the cut and replace um pattern you're just going to cut out after cutting your main gown you're just going to cut out the part you want to put the black and then trace it out on um, the black and then replace like cut and replace and then it's a basic sleeve actually so here you have your normal basic gown and with side pocket and so when making the sleeve you're just going to use your normal round armhole measurement for the down part of the sleeve and then you're going to gather it into a band as simple as that and then this is um a princess neckline off shoulder with a small sleeve um it has a half cord and then the down part is a flay um round um flay you're just going to cut excess maybe times two of your waist and pleat it onto the waist as simple as that and then this is also a pleated gown um half cord it has a half cord and just the same way we did the last one but the last one you might need to add um a be hard net to make it stand a bit and then here you have a basic sleeve with band so this is just um your normal gown short gown and then after cutting the gown you're going to cut out a long strip of fabric very long and then you're going to gather it after turning it with lining actually then you're going to gather it and sew it onto the gown you already made just the way you want it like and here i think we'll have the same thing with the last one we just made but the only difference is the neckline this one has a v neckline that's all and then here we have a very simple outfit it has a square neckline and a basic sleeve um it has um it has a 360 degree flay on the down part of the gown and then it has a belt very simple and gorgeous here we also have a 360 degree flay on the down part but this time around you're going to add something to the knee around me so you're just going to cut the straight fabric and do kissing pleats around the around me i think you have the same thing around the chest line and it's a basic sleeve so we have come to the end of today's video thank you for watching see you in my next one bye